Now let's apply the, the chained finger movements into the guitar and see in uh, what techniques it translates into. All right, if you haven't practiced well or, or, or actually really memorized the guidelines from, from the previous video on chained uh, exercises or even all the videos before that are super important, please do so before you attempt to continue because otherwise you're gonna continue making compensations and having gaps, etc. And it will be more frustrating, it will take you more time uh, and it will just defeat the whole purpose of, of all these videos and, and all this advice. All right, so those chain exercises translate into different things. The first and most obvious one is if you do this movement that we show here, okay, right like this, we do it on the strings. Let's say we do it with three fingers, index, middle ring, and we do it on the third, second, and first string. So look, we are on in the neutral position, okay, we're not touching the strings, okay, now the next thing we do is the scissors, so we create the stirs, and now we throw it, and we...